Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, I will show you the process that I use to look for cloud and DevOps work. Before I show you the process that I use to look for work, this is a good article on the top 30 search engines and job boards that you can use to find work. According to this article, these are the top 15 job sites and boards you can use to find work. Here you have Indeed, Glassdoor, LinkedIn, Google, Monster, ZipRecruiter, and so on. Of all these job sites, the one that I use to find work is Indeed. Before I show you how I use Indeed to look for work, I recommend that you keep an open mind and try the other sites to see what works for you. I only use Indeed to look for work because that is where I found the most success. Let's go to Indeed and I'll show you how I search for work and what I look for in the job descriptions. Open a new web browser and type Indeed.com. Once you type indeed.com, press enter. Once you are on the website, the first thing you should do is sign in. If you don't have an account, you can easily create one with your Google account. I'll click sign in. And here I'm going to enter my email. You can either use your email or Google, Apple or Facebook to sign in. Once you enter your email, click continue. Instead of logging in with my Google account, I'm going to enter my password. I'll click login with a password instead. And I'll enter my password in here. Once I've logged into my Indeed account, this is how I look for work. In this search box that says what, this is where I will type the job title that I'm looking for. When I am looking for cloud position, the job title I always type in here is cloud engineer. So in this search box, type cloud engineer. Once you type cloud engineer, select it here. Then in this search box that says where, this is where you enter the location where you want the job to be. I always look for remote positions. So I'll click in here and I'm going to click this X to remove this. To look for remote location, you can see it is giving you the hint here. So I'll type remote. Once you type remote, you'll see it here, select it. Then click find jobs. And there you go. This is the search result for cloud engineer jobs that are remote. And this is one of the things I love about Indeed. There are 33,299 jobs. Obviously, 33,000 jobs is a lot of jobs to apply to. So the next thing you can do is filter it some more. Here, you can filter it by the date posted. So if you don't want any jobs that was posted a month ago, you can select in here and select you only want jobs that are posted within the past seven days. Then we we'll filter it by remote. Here, I also filter it by the salary. So I'll select this drop down and I'll select that I'm looking for a job that is 150 and up. When you filter by your job search, Indeed is going to show you this, which is pretty much saying you can subscribe to this filter. And when jobs are posted that fits this description, Indeed will send you an email. And this is where you can subscribe to the email. So here I'll click activate. I'm going to X out of it. Now that we have filtered our search by the date the job was posted, the location of the job, and the salary, the search result has dropped to 1,288, which is still a good result. Once I add the filters, the next thing I will do is go down this list and review the job one at a time. And if I see one that fits what I'm looking for, or I feel like I'm qualified for it, then I will apply to it. So let's read this first one. This is a senior DevOps engineer. When you select it, you can read the description here. Here, the salary is 180,000 to 220,000. If you scroll down, under qualifications, they want you to have Google Cloud Platform experience one year. You must be authorized to work in the United States and you must have Kubernetes experience one year. Since I don't have any experience with Google Cloud Platform, I won't apply to this job. So the next thing I'm just going to do is scroll down and go to the next one. The next one on the list is 
principal cloud infrastructure engineer. I'll select that one. Here you can see the salary. It is between 142,000 to 206,000. If you scroll down, here you can read the description. When it comes to reading the job description, I would say it is subjective. You know yourself, you know what you are capable of, and you know your skill set. So read the job description. It is okay if you can't do everything that is listed in the job description, as long as you are confident that you can do most of the things. So I would say anywhere from 60 to 70%, that is good. You can apply to the job. I'll scroll down here. Here you can also read the requirements. If this match your skill set, then you can apply to the job. Again, it doesn't have to be everything, but make sure that most of the things that are listed under the requirements are things you can do. Scroll down. You can read more about the company here. Scroll down. Sometimes they will have career opportunities and benefits. When I am reviewing the job description, the main things I look for is the requirements, the responsibility, the salary, and the benefits. Once I've reviewed these things and I'm happy with the job, next i can apply to it one of the things i like about indeed is if you see easily apply here this means that you can apply to this job within one minute to show you that i'll select this job and i'll click apply now here it is asking for my information and indeed remembers my information from the last time i applied i'll click continue on this page this is where you upload your resume I'll click Upload Resume, then browse to the location where you saved your resume. When I upload my resume, I always upload the PDF version of it. Once you've selected your resume, click Open. Then scroll down and click Continue. On this page, this particular job has this question, so I'm going to scroll down. It is asking by my ethnicity. I'll select this drop down and select black or African-American. I am male, scroll down. And here it is asking for my veteran status. I'm not a protected veteran. I'll select this and click continue. Then on this page, they have more questions. I'll just scroll down. This is a disability question. I'll scroll down. I do not have any disability. I'll scroll down and click review your application. On this page, you can review your application. Once you've reviewed it, scroll down and click Submit your application. This is how I apply to a job on Indeed. Once you apply to the job, I'll just close this for now. And you can come back here and duplicate that same process. You come to the next job. You select it. Here you can see the details for the job. The salary is here. More details about the job is here. And you can see all this information here. So once you review it, again, this part is very subjective. You know yourself better. If you feel confident that you can do half of what is listed on the job description, I would recommend that you apply to the job. This is literally the exact process that I used to apply for jobs. Another thing I want to mention is don't be discouraged when you apply to a job and you don't hear back from them. In my opinion, it is a numbers game. And one of the reasons why I like Indeed is Indeed has this easily apply. You just saw when we applied to this job, it took less than one minute. So what you want to do is for all this job that says easily apply, you can see all this job has easily apply. So if I scroll down, easily apply, here easily apply. For every job that has easily apply, that you've read the job description and you are happy with it, you should apply to every single job. So when I was looking for work, on a single day, I can apply to at least 20 to 30 jobs. For this easily apply, it takes less than one minute to apply to them. All you have to do is select the job, read the job descriptions. If you're happy with it, click apply now and it will take you less than one minute to apply to it. It is a numbers game, guys. So don't be discouraged if you apply to a job and you don't hear back from them. Continue applying. Every day, come to this site, apply to any new job that you see. And when you apply to all these jobs, eventually some of them will get back to you. And from there, you just have to do well in the interview. Another thing I will mention is if you are not on LinkedIn, 
make sure you create a LinkedIn account and update your LinkedIn profile. Even though I don't apply to jobs on LinkedIn, sometimes recruiters reach out to me there. So you want to make sure you have an updated LinkedIn profile. This is the exact step that I used to look for cloud and DevOps position. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.